In this video, I'm going to do a review about the drawing app Adobe Draw. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator, and I have been working in Adobe Draw for the Inktober challenge, and I made this illustration with it, and it was done on October 10. And the great thing about Adobe uh, Draw is that it is a factor program and I'm going to do this review on five topics. I'm going to discuss the interface, the brushes that the app has, the resolution, the plus features of this app and the pros and cons. But let's first start out with the interface and when you open up Adobe Draw you first have a gallery. You can choose from and I'm just going to select this file and there you have your canvas you can draw on and you can zoom in and zoom out when you pinch zoom with your two fingers but you cannot rotate which is a shame on the left side there are all the brushes you can use and when you press on a brush you get more options to a brush so you can adjust the size of your brush, the opacity of your brush and you just have to slide it from right to left and then you can see the percentage of your brush and you can also change the color and then the color wheel will pop up and here you can adjust the values of your color. They also have some themes and then you need an inter internet connection and my library and that's also a library you can use uh, when you have Creative Cloud and this app only works when you have a Creative Cloud subscription otherwise you well you can download the app for free but it doesn't really work so you need an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription to use this app and there's also some ways you can adjust the brushes on the right side there are uh, the layers and you can add a layer by pressing on the plus sign and then you can have an image layer that's an imported image or a draw layer and when you have a draw layer you can draw on it and when you press on the layer you have different options you can adjust the opacity and also uh, a lot of different blend modes you can use can also use the transform tool so I'm going to you know go to a layer that's drawn on otherwise it won't work and with the transform tool you can rotate or uh, make your file or your drawing bigger and smaller and you can also rotate it but then you have to hold your finger in the middle of the image so if you were really drawing small you know that's kind of hard to do when you've done uh, your transform you can um, press undone and there is no undo in the transform so that's uh, a minor point but you can um, undo with pressing on the undo button and then it will uh, return to its original position so you can use a lot of different uh, layers and on top here you can also use shapes I'm just going to use a, a different layer when you uh, can have um, a line you can draw with or it's a, it's a ruler and you can adjust the ruler by uh, a degree which is great and then you can just draw your line and the size is a bit big now but you just get the, the idea and you can just change it around and that's great if you want to you know draw some straight lines and this is a, a circle but you can adjust the circle when you you can make it an oval by pressing the little arrows underneath and then you can you know draw your perfect oval 
and you can change it around and draw another oval and there are several different shapes you can use so it's a, a square a rectangle and some French curves and these are handy you know if you want to draw cars or you know something with very smooth lines and you also have polygons you can use and when you you can adjust the size of, of it as well there are also some uh, balloons so if you're doing comics that you know, would be a nice feature and then you just have to trace it with your um, and that doesn't really work at times because now I'm just moving it around or this is probably just a stamp so there are different brushes so there are different shapes these shapes you can trace and a stamp shape is different then you just have to stamp it so if you stamp on the image it's drawn on your canvas then I'm going to the brushes unfortunately you cannot uh, make your own brushes you can make uh, your own stencil but uh, these are just vectors you can you know use and just stamp it onto the canvas but you cannot paint with it and here are the the brushes and they look very similar but they act differently you can uh, adjust the size the opacity the color and you can also adjust some things of it and I'm just going to select a, a different color black and you can adjust the roundness the angle and angle only works if you have an ellipse you can adjust the taper, the pressure dynamics. When you toggle it off, there is no pressure. But, you know, I'm now drawing with my Apple Pencil and now I'm drawing with my finger. So you can also use it without an Apple Pencil or stylus and still have a tapered look to your brush. But when you hold A brush or if you're um, inking very slow you just keep it the brush will get really fat and I really don't like that just going to select another brush and you can set different colors uh, to it as well and adjust the size and just make your own uh, basic brushes and these are the default brushes but there's not much uh, difference between the brushes this is a thinner one and you can adjust only these things but you cannot make your own brushes which is a shame the resolution of um, Adobe draw um, you know it doesn't really matter because it's a vector program so you can you have infinite zoom and I drew this for Inktober and then you can when you're finished with your drawing you can open it up in Illustrator or in Adobe Photoshop and when you export it or through your creative cloud you can open it up in Illustrator and work from there and then it's still a vector based drawing so the resolution doesn't really matter because it's all done in vectors uh, the plus features of this app is that you can, uh, you know, interchange your artwork with your Adobe Creative Cloud and that can work really fast. There are several apps uh, for Adobe for iPad, which is Adobe Sketch. That's more of uh, compatible with Photoshop because it's a pixel based app. And I'll do a review about that later. And 
I really like the the ruler you can use in your art and if you you know want to have some curves like the French curves if you want to draw um, something uh, with nice curves you can use that the cons are that uh, you cannot um, make your own brushes so you all the brushes are a bit the same uh, as all of the other brushes so you can choose some brushes and uh, change some things uh, with it like the the roundness but that's all there's there's to it really and the size of your brush and there aren't structured brushes you can draw with that would be a great feature and I hope Adobe will update Adobe draw the other con is that you need an uh, Adobe Creative Cloud membership otherwise the app won't work I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles! You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and Periscope. You can buy my stuff on Vimeo On Demand, Etsy, iBooks and Redbubble. Subscribe to my newsletter and get free stuff. You can find the links in the description box down below.